Well, Clongos had Terenure College as their first round opponents. And they took care of them quite comprehensively with a 34 points to 14 win. Clongos retained seven players from last year's squad and will be looking to the likes of Leinster under-19 representative Callum Dowling, Evan O'Boyle and Dermot McCormack to lead from the front. Rory Moran at fullback is a member of the Mayo Miners, so there should be no issues under the high ball, while Michael Spillane is another dual player lining out with the Kildare GAA Miners. Oshin Devitt and Charlie O'Reilly make up the halfback combination. St. Gerard's beat the King's Hospital 20 points to 5 in round 1 of their Leinster Senior Cup to set up today's encounter. Up front, there's plenty of physicality in the form of Fred Happenen, Max Marin, Vice-Captain Tommy O'Connor and Captain Aidan Long. Incidentally, Aidan Long has three Leinster Boxing Championship titles, so there'll be no lack of physicality there either. In the backs, there's plenty of talent too. Saul Fitzpatrick and Paddy Burke make up the halfback combination. And Josh Watson, the brother of last year's captain, makes up the centre with Callan O'Reilly who was only in fourth year is tipped as one to watch for the future so we're here for the last of the quarterfinals festival of rugby all week in Energia Park here on Premier Sport as St. Gerrard's make their way out onto the pitch I'm joined alongside me by Bernard Jackman and Bernard as I said we've been treated to a real fantastic Weeks rugby, and today I think we can expect more of the same. Yeah, we've had a, a, a great uh, three quarter final so far, and this contest should be hopefully evenly matched. I mean, Jared's are coming school, uh, they've invested a lot into their sports program. The headmaster Tom Garrity is a big sportsman, and, and across all various levels of sport, but this is a team that they hope can breach the gap and get to a, a semi final at least. Yeah, certainly plenty of talent on display, Fred. Happening is on the Leinster under-18s panel for St. Gerrard's. And, as I said, Callan O'Reilly, he's one we have to watch as well. At 13 for St. Gerrard's, just in fourth year. Clongo's now led out onto the pitch by captain Callum Dowling. And there's a great tradition down at Clongo's. Yeah, uh, Reggie, for the last 20 years or so, um, they've been really successful in this cup competition, dogged opponents. Um, they managed to win a, a good few cups, and um, while well, this this year Michaels are certainly the favourites, Clongos are probably the team that they fear the most. Certainly up front, there's a lot of beef in that Clongos pack. We were watching them when they were warming up, and I think they'll probably try. We heard Jason Emery, the Jared's coach, talking about the fact. The Clongos bullied Terenure a little bit in the last match, and he's expecting some more of the same today. So I'd imagine that certainly would be the tactic they'll be employing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they were doing a lot of work in their warm up on their, on their line and ball. Um, you know, their hooker had a very good flat throw, and once they seem to build it very quickly. So that's going to be the test for Jarrah's because Clongos do seem to have the, the size and power advantage up front. The referee for today's game is Killian Hogan. He'll be assisted by Clive Wardrop and James Fagan. In touch judge, the Clongos will get this one underway. That one goes long, it's tidied up now by Fitzpatrick. Goes into the comfort of his forwards, passing it out along the line there. Bringing in his back row straight away, Pickering. Goes forward now, Pickering with the headgear on. Pass goes back to Burke who launches one, keeps it in play it's tidied up by Moran You're off ball, the Mayo minor no problem under the high ball for him, big carry coming in there from Cumbers, the hooker for Clongos, it's out little step and go there from Charlie Riley, tries to find a gap he's tackled well though by Max Moran out they go again good defence coming forward for St. Gerrard's Pickering launching himself up at that one. It's moved out along. Again, Owen Cumbers is the one who tries to take it forward. Big hit coming in there from Josh Watson. Smashing into the out half. Charlie Riley, both of them a little bit slow. I think it was Jake Broder, in fact, who made that hit. Both of them a little bit slow getting up. Cumbers now. And Jared's defence, really aggressive, coming forward. Forcing Clongos back at every opportunity. On goes Evan O'Boyle now. 
Passed outside, great step from Callum Dowling. Fantastic offload to the winger, Michael Spillane, who tries to work it out the back door. But the pass doesn't go to hand. And we can see temperaments rising a little bit, but a good start from Clongas, but great defence from Jarrett. Yeah, you mentioned it there, Reggie, the, the line speed from Jarrett. I was speaking to the Junior Cup team coach, David Curtin, said, wait, you see this line speed, and they are kamikaze-like, but the problem is if they miss tackles on the inside, you know, Clongas were unlucky there, the ball didn't go to hand, but great effort from, from Jarrett there, and an unbelievable hit from Jacob Broder early on on the far side, and he took a bit of knock to head, but he seems to be OK. First scrum for today. So Fitzpatrick with the put in, ball is at the base. The feet of Aiden Long, it's moved outside. Big hit coming in again on Watson. Just holds him up in the tackle. Strong hit from Dowling. It's there now for Fitzpatrick. He's calling for support. Counter Rook comes in from Klongos. They move it wide again. Pickering tries to make a bit of ground. They keep going around that corner. A oh, lovely little show and go there from Saul Fitzpatrick found that half gap pick and go now from Happening the Leinster under 18 panel player out we go again this time it's Klongo's turn to come forward aggressively in the defence Fitzpatrick though a little bit loose in that pass coming from Burke it's tidied up well though Patrick now back to the open side in they come tight head prop glass taking it forward there's a call here loud blast from the whistle from the referee he's not happy about something Max Marin being called out let's listen to him happy to allow a contest but you may not lift an opponent past yeah. to the horizontal it's a penalty here please be extremely careful okay I can go Clear instruction there from the referee. Killian Hogan, a legal lift in at that breakdown. Just a little bit too enthusiastic. Max Marin trying to get his hands and turn that ball over. We'll see it again here as they go forward. Again, good defence coming in. You see there, he's just trying to clear away the player from around that contact area. And just a little bit too high for the referee. Yeah, and the tackle technique from Clongos, the the leg tackles we've seen in the first couple of minutes just being exemplary in terms of technique and just killing the forward momentum for Jarrods and they're also getting a jackal tread in there and I suppose the players are a bit unfortunate I think he's a really good refereeing by, by Killian Hogan just to stay calm I understand these kids are you know are, are built up and hyped up and you know just a little bit of over exuberance but no danger Oshin well, Devitt now strikes this one has he got it on target he has Drill that one, plenty to spare distance wise, right between the posts. Great kick from the scrum half, and just the start they would have wanted. Three points return from all that pressure. Yeah, well, they had the benefit of the kickoff, and from the kickoff, George haven't really been able to get out of half. The Clongo's defense has been um, exemplary so far, and now this is an opportunity to maybe get some territory for George. George, they go long, it's taken well by McCormick. He puts the head down, tries to drive forward. Out it comes now to Dowling from Devitt. Again, they're making ground. Clongos, every opportunity, they're coming forward. Jared struggling to get their hands near the ball. Devitt out to Dowling again. He rides the first tackle, makes a half a metre. Pick and drive, good. Little snipe around the base there from Mushin Devitt. Keeping the defence honest. Show and go again from Callum Dowling. Straightens it up, makes another two metres. Devitt now outside to his 10, Riley. Off goes Moran. There's space left and right of him. Tackle needs to come in. He gets that pass out to Spillane. Spillane steps brilliantly back on the left. Has he reached it? Yes, he has. Tackle comes across from Paddy Burke, but it was too late. Brilliant step from the winger, Michael Spillane, creates that space for himself. Some of the Jarrods supporters not happy with the pass. They feel it was forward, but that didn't stop Spillane. He finished it off. 
Yeah, it's a great finish. We see here, Chargers don't get their numbers right. A little temp for the interception. It goes, it goes, it goes to the ground, and then Moran picks it up. And he's a Gaelic footballer. He gives an unorthodox type of pass out to the wing. But Spillane didn't need a second invitation and attacks towards the goalpost, and the cover couldn't get across in time. Yeah, it was a great step from Spillane. He realised the cover defence was coming across there. Changed direction off his right foot. Cut back inside. And then... Scored the try. Oshin Devitt now to attempt to add the two points. Strikes it well. Oh, it's a beautiful kick from the young nine. Sailed between the posts. And already, with just seven minutes on the clock, Clongo's putting down a serious marker into this game, and St. Gerard's are going to have to find a way back into this match pretty quickly. Yeah, a ruthless start from, from Clongo's to be 10 0 up um, after only seven and a half minutes. They made the most of their opportunities. Well taken there by Evan O'Boyle. David now puts it back outside to Callum Dowling, the captain. He's had carried at least five or six times already in this match. No shortage of big runners coming around the corner for Klongos. Riley goes behind to Marr, who shoves it out towards Moran. He's happy to pin a little boot on that and put it back in behind. It's tidied up well by fullback Cormac Long. On they go now, Jared. Can they find some space and create? The gap to go through, but it's been turned over now. Chris Grimes has it for Klongos. Taken forward again now by Killian Fitzpatrick. Out they go again. That man Dowling once more juggles a little bit, but still manages to hold on to possession. Devon to Riley. He sees a half gap. Looks to go. He's tackled well though. Jared's get back. Organize that defensive line. He'll need to get out of there now. Devon puts it out to his loose head prop, McMahon. That one's just knocked forward I think he was thinking about the tackle as it came in but Jared's are really going to have to try and get that breakdown slowed down a bit Bernard. Uh, absolutely Reggie I mean Longos are getting all on the front foot at the moment getting really quick ball and Jared's aren't really able to reset their, their defensive line that's the first probably impact a bit of physicality to being able to show the breakdown and it's no coincidence for the next phase they had their line, defensive line Time set off. and were able to get into the passing channel and, and forced to knock on but the ball is, is lightning quick at the moment and it suits Longos yeah, Peter Marr just taking his eyes off the ball for a moment as he spotted the gap open up in front of him. I think he thought there was a good chance he was gone. It's a little injury, blood injury outside to St. Gerard's. Just at the moment, Reggie ending with two in the back, ending with two in the backfield with a with a nine on a chip line and. Um, you know, we've seen over the last couple of days uh, all the other teams defending with 13 in the front line, 2 in the backfield. So, given how poor the front line is, I think maybe they should forget about the chip line and put that scrum half into the front line just to try and give them an extra, an extra man because Clongas are finding holes left, right, and centre. Yeah, and conditions are perfect here in Energia Park today. There's no wind, so they don't need to worry about having to keep players deep for those long kicks. But obviously, they are worried about kicks going in behind. They're trying to just cover that off. Ollie Newsom now coming on for that blood injury while they go and get some treatment. Scrum goes on. So Fitzpatrick now with the foot in. What can Jarrett's do from here? Pressure comes on from Klongos. But it's there at the feet of Long. Now, Fitzpatrick moves it outside towards Burke, bringing in the back line. That's good. First chance to see if these back line can find some space. Away goes Josh Watson. Beautiful pop back inside to Craig Kenny. This is better from Gerrards. On they go now. Matthew, Matthew Whelan sets up the ball, lays it perfectly for Fitzpatrick. Out to Burke. Burke ships it on to the second row and vice captain Tommy O'Connor. Burke looks for the half gap, pops it to the danger man, Callan O'Reilly. Still he goes forward. This is better from Gerrards.
big drive comes in from Long. Ball's presented. Fitzpatrick ships it back outside. Keeping it close, trying to try it in. Tie in the defenders from Klongos. Fred Happenen now goes to ground. Fitzpatrick goes out towards his loose head prop, Nedwich. Good stuff here from Jarrett. Klongos defence setting up well. On goes Tommy O'Connor. They're keeping it close. Chop tackles coming in there from Owen Cumbers, just getting his man down early. Now they go wide. Lovely little short pass from Burke to Watson. Drive is on. Good leg drive. Just a meter short now. It's Patrick. His numbers on the outside. They keep it tight. The drive comes in. Congo's holding fast. They must release. There's numbers on the left that they can get it out towards the wing. It gets out towards Kenny. Finishes in the corner, and the winger was screaming from that ball from early on. He was sitting out on that wing with nobody marking him. He just tried to get that message into Fitzpatrick. Eventually, it got through, and the long pass from Fitzpatrick finds Kenny on the wing, and he finishes. Great stuff from yeah, Jared. That's a great response from Jared. Jason Emery said it back to skill set. That try had quality all over from a scrum, 50 yards out, solid scrum. Watson made the initial break. And a great carry up the middle from Tom, Tomas O'Connor. And this is the icing on the cake here. What a great pass from Fitzpatrick out to his wing where the space was. Congos got very narrow because the forwards, Jarrett's forwards are punching, punching, punching. And that created space on the outside. But it took vision to, to throw the pass. Sure yeah. did. And it was great as well from Brian Glass, the tight head who was in that position. He didn't go for it. Knew he had Kenny outside him and just left it to him. An attempted kick now from Paddy Burke. Is just pulled to the left, but Jarrett's through some great skill and ingenuity finding their way back into the game. And considering how little possession they've had, they'll be delighted with the return from that. And I'll give them massive confidence because they had just been defending and looked a little bit poor. But ball in hand now, we can see the threats they have all over the field. And a warning to Clongos not to take St. Jarrett's lightly. That one now goes long, it's taken well by Fred Happenen. On he goes, presents it well for Fitzpatrick. The forwards now through long. Drive forward. Fitzpatrick, big tackles coming in again. That man Dowling involved in everything. Paddy Burke just bringing in Watson. Fitzpatrick ships it out on the outside. But this time it's held up by Jarrett's can they keep it off the ground it was held up Killian Hogan gave a clear instruction turnover purple scrum yeah Cormac Long going into that one and just couldn't manage to twist his body around held up very well by the Klongos hooker yeah the problem for Jarrett's there was you know it was back against two front row forwards and they were able to hold him upright for the first two or three seconds and great refereeing by Killian Hogan he actually didn't let it go on too long he knew the ball wasn't going to come out and just blew it up straight away really see the physicality of this Klongo's team. Jarrett will have to be careful not to go in too high. Now it comes out to Grimes. A lovely break from the centre. Bats away. Watson is still down injured from that collision. Balls there available. Dermot McCormick now presents it. Is that ball out? Not quite yet, but Devitt will take it on on goes Callum Dowling storming game from him so far they put it out to the number 8 Dermot McCormick he tries to make some more ground defence standing firm for the moment Jack Kearney with a little twist out of the tackle loose head Luke McMahon makes another half metre puts it on a plate for Devon they look for space on that left hand side back they go from Dermot McCormick to the comfort of the forwards, some pick and drives likely here now as Evan O'Boyle goes forward for one, Dowling comes in to support Owen Cumbers will drive on the back of Barry Dooley out it goes to Dermot McCormick Jared's frantically defending this one Evan O'Boyle standing in an outside position looking for the pop 
Barry Dooley waiting to support him. The advantage is coming for a penalty. Jarrett's need to be careful here. Devitt now has numbers on this left-hand side. Little step back inside comes from Charlie Riley. The defence manages to scramble across and stop it. Back to the forwards. On goes Jack Kearney. Evan O'Boyle yes. pops it back outside to Callum Dowling. The ball is out. They get there to defend it. Devitt now to, Ar to Riley. Lovely little pop from the out half to Chris Grimes, who comes just short, short of the line. It's there again. The pick and drive is held up. Frantic defence, this from Jarrett's trying to hold out. Defending their line with everything they have. Humbers is there. Can he pick and drive around that corner? He made it. Yes, says the referee. He's right on hand. Owen Converse, the Burley hooker, who's carried on many occasions so far in this game, spotted that line, set himself up, was patient, didn't panic, got himself low and drove it over. Yeah, really brave defence from George. They probably kept Clongos out for 10 or 11 phases, you know, after most teams would have cracked, but eventually it was great ball re recycling by uh, Clongos. They knew they had the advantage. They tried to go wide a couple of times, but George stopped them, but then they go back to that power uh, and really effective from Cummers. His body position, he's got a latch behind him and just gets underneath the George defence, who are struggling with the with the power of, of, of Clongos. From that scrum, we saw Grimes just bash his way over the gain line, and then the likes of Callum Downing and Dearman McCormick are, are just coming on to the pace and the break in the first tackle which is putting Jarrods on the back foot yeah, and you can see from the replay as Devitt takes his conversion and sticks it between the posts to add the two points you could see that it was Craig Kenny of St. Jarrods the winger who was trying to stop the hooker and a bit of a mismatch there they need to get the bigger forwards in in those pinner positions or that pick and drive will go all day long with the forwards but a good try from Owen Cumbers and the two points added from Devitt. And Klon goes back in control of this game as Dermot McCormick takes it forward. It's there now. And used out to Callum Dowling again. Devitt puts it out to Riley, almost intercepted. Very close, Cumbers now. Keeps it in play well. Clever play from the hooker. Jared's now, you can see, starting to get a little bit tired. Defending hard like this will take its toll on them. But Klongos in from the side are holding on to the ball, in fact, was the call. So a little bit of relief for Jared's ball and a chance right for right them. All right to the ball. Kick this one for the line out, gain some territory. Yeah, you're right, Reggie. They need to get that ball slowed down to break down, and you know if they can get a couple of key turnovers like that. A missed touch there. It's a big mistake. Lovely step coming in from Sean Sexton, but he did drop the ball as he tried to offload. Tried to offload in the tackle, but knocks it forward. Great step initially. Lovely piece of work. It wasn't actually Sexton, it was more Barry Dooley who came in afterwards to try and tidy up that loose ball that had gone backwards, who knocked it on on the deck. Bad miss touch though from Jarrods. they're the type of errors they can't afford. Yeah, particularly when you're packer under the pump a little bit, you got to make sure you get it out, you got a chance to go off a set piece, and you know, they'll be wary of kicking the ball to Sean Sexton, he looked very dangerous there in that little half break. Chance here now. For Jared Saul Patrick to put this one in. And we've seen what they can do, and they do get a little bit of possession. They're lining up on the left hand side. Scrum under a little bit of pressure from Klongos. It's good now, though. Paddy Burke looks to use Watson on the outside. Step from him again. Ball is presented. It's there for Fitzpatrick. Brings in Aiden Long. Out it goes now to Tony O'Connor. Places it for Fitzpatrick, out they go, on that outside. There goes Burke again, lovely little flick over the top from him to Cormac Long. He makes another five metres, ball is presented, it's there, Fitzpatrick. Shoves it outside to the loose head, Ralph Ledwidge. Good stuff again from Jarrods, they're making ground. No, 
Aiden Long was talk of crossing, but no, says the referee. It's been turned over now in the rip by Killian Fitzpatrick. Big turnover for Klongos. Devitt moves it back out to that open side. Evan O'Boyle happy to go to ground. And the penalty given away by Gerrards. No clear release in the tackle. And once again, a let off for Klongos. Yeah, but you got to you got to fear that Jared's probably need to capitalise every time to get into Toronto's 22 because it's so hard to see where they're going to get those entries. And unfortunately, there just the ball was lost in contact, and then double double down on the error with giving away a penalty to break down. And again, it comes down to that physicality we mentioned earlier on. The Clongos forwards just seem to be able to bully them a little bit. Jared's front mark. That's you. Okay. Yeah, you're on it. That's fine. The throw now comes from Owen Cumbers. Shortened line out. Throw is good. Finds Fitzpatrick straight off the top. Move it around to Callum Dowling. Lovely break. Just managed to catch him. Connor Pickering getting his hands on Debit. Loose head. Luke McMahon flicks it on to his number eight, McCormick. Relentless stuff now from Clongos. Little juggle from Riley, but he manages to gather back in again. Takes a sting out of the attack though. Good work by McMahon, the loose head. Takes it forward another five or six meters. Devitt down the blind side. Brings in the tight head, Dooley. He makes another meter or two. But he doesn't release the ball. And the players around him going clearly off their feet. No release is the clear call from the referee. Yeah, we just see here, they play a, a pop-off. Off nine, they've got three forwards there, ball carrier with two more, but really good technique from the charge. Number seven, Pickering, who's looked really lively and dangerous to evade the clean out and get the penalty. Congos, front man, I'm your mark. Front man, Congos, here we are. I think it's the first lineup for, for Jarge in the game. Kyle Fred Happening's throwing is. Ball comes in from Glass. They go towards the back. Oh, it's just gone over the top, and that one's taken happily by Dowling. Charges onto that one, makes another few meters. Brilliant offload from McCormick out to his hook, hooker Cumbers, and Cumbers keeps going and gives it back to McCormick. Forwards having a field day out there. Riley now looks to get it on the outside channel. They bring in the fullback Moran, flicks it back inside towards Mar. Good play now from Klongos, using the touchlines well, getting plenty of width on this game as Luke McMahon gets involved again. Out it comes towards McCormick. Good defence coming in from St. Gerrard's. Out we go again, Riley now puts it towards the ever-present Callum Dowling. Lovely offload from him to Killian Fitzpatrick. There's no stopping this purple machine as it barges forward. Footwork again from Rory Moran. Devitt now brings it back outside towards the captain Dowling. Jared's tackling for all their worth, hanging on at the ankles. But McMahon finds space on that outside. Good line coming in again from Evan O'Boyle as he reached. Stops just short of the line. Debit outside gives it to the number eight, Dermot McCormick. And eventually the Jared's defense falls. They run out of numbers. And good continuity and recycling from Klongos leads to a try for the number eight, Dermot McCormick. Yeah, we saw Downey there with that carry. He was instrumental. Um, he's been exceptional, as has Luke McMahon when he, whenever he's carried. Look at the quality of the clean out. Quick ball flat against against the grain coming back on the angle works hard on the ground and then from here they probably would have got for the pick and goal but really strong carry from McCormick who's been very impressive as well yep Thank you. and there's been no lack of effort from Jared's in defence but it's just a case of running out of numbers because this purple wave just keeps coming time after time no let up And now Oshin Devitt has a chance to add yet another two points. Strikes it well. Has he got the direction? Yes, he does. 
Superb kick from the scrum half. His kicking has been exceptional today. And he adds the two points to McCormick's try. And now for Plongos, you feel that this is turning into quite a comfortable performance for them. Paddy Burke now has to try and find a way to reignite this Jared's attack. That one bounces infield. It's tidied up well. Mistake by Evan O'Boyle left it. Tommy O'Connor said thank you very much. Aiden Long now tries to take it on again. It goes from Fitzpatrick. A little bit of a juggle. Oh, he's gone. The loose head. Ledwich. Brilliant. Juggled originally. And then saw the gap in front. Can they move it outside? The pass is behind from Burke. Need to be patient here. Good speed coming in from the replacement. Ollie Newsom flicks it back inside brilliantly. Ball is still there. Cormac Long now presents the ball. It goes out along from Fitzpatrick. On goes Happen in the hooker. You feel Jarrett's have to score off this to keep themselves in this game. Tommy O'Connor presents the ball for Fitzpatrick. They go wide. It's taken forward again by Lebage. Ball is there. Out it goes to Burke. Can he find some sort of a gap? Tries a little half step. Good tackle comes in from Dooley, the tight head. Still they go. St. Gerrard through Max Moran. Looking to get that outside. John, a good step. As he reached the line, the tight head, Brian Glass. It's there. Referee Killian Hogan right on hand to see the tight head, Brian Glass, wriggling way over and like we said you can't write this Jared's team off no they're so brave I mean it's been pretty relentless from Clongos but both times Jared's have had really good front football they've looked so dangerous their skill set is excellent I think Burke looks at a really good player he's always threatening the defence but it started with a huge run from Ledwidge he bounced the Clongos defender gets into 22 we just see here yeah they build they keep the ball really really well recycle some big hits coming in from Clongos and just here, we show the ball from the from the tie-in prop class and still takes a lot of finishing and just treat Longo's players on him. Did brilliantly from close range as Burke lines himself up. we we'll want to try and improve on his first kick. Strikes this one better. Has he got the direction on that inside post? It's there. Much better kick from Paddy Burke on this occasion. Giving his supporters plenty to shout about. Watch that kick. Looks like it might drift left, but it just stays inside the left post. On it goes. It's gone over the 22. Scrum back will be the call. That was really well left uh, by St. George there. They knew the ball would bounce on the, on the on the 4G surface, and it's a great lift for them now to go back in the halfway line. And they look, the back strikes attack have looked really good off line out and scrum. So, they have, midfield scrum is a great opportunity for them to launch something and get the ball into O'Reilly or, or Watson Sands, who, who've looked really powerful. Yeah, and as you said, there hasn't been that many set pieces, and plenty of scrums there hasn't been too many lineouts for Jarrett, but they haven't had that many set piece pieces. It's all they've all gone the favour of Congos at the moment, so Scrum seems to be in the area that they're getting best return from. So they'll fancy themselves to have a go off this one from the midfield situation. They have four players lined up on this left hand side against two and a covering full back. So opportunities if they can find the way to get the ball out on this left hand side. Park, Watson and O'Reilly all waiting on this left side. It goes to Watson. Now he tries to bring in Park. He goes behind and it's a good pass outside to the winger, Kenny. Good stepping from him. Needs to be patient now. Where's the support? It's there. Leave it as the call from the rep. Better this from St. Gerard's. Fitzpatrick brings in Long. Makes another metre or so. Fitzpatrick moves it outside. Now Burke looks to get some width on it. In comes the fullback. Long. 
Fitzpatrick now brings in the forward. On goes the drive. Loose head Ledwidge makes another meter. Marin now looking for support. Good play from Jared O'Connor. Steps back inside. Tackles coming in from Cumbers. Advantage is a call. Penalty coming. So they have a free shot at this. Burke now looks up. Puts a ball in behind the line. In comes Newsom into the line. Just isolated. So the referee will bring it back for the penalty. Wait. What do you think, Bernard? Should they take the three points? I think they'll maybe take a scrum and, and play off it. Their backs seem to have the number of Clongos. I'm not sure. Kick into the corner from here will be. Oh, sorry. It's over on the 15. So maybe didn't kick the corner, but I would imagine it'd be quite difficult to shift that Clongos pack with them all. But a scrum gives them an opportunity to, to play with their backs. Decision? Okay. Call Josh Watson. Oh, and he's going to kick it to the corner. And this is brave from Jerds. Deciding to try and take on this mammoth Clongos pack. Could be a mall, and they might fool us all as yeah, well at the top. Listen, we, we, we know that they might have a, a trick player. Maybe they have the, the power and the technique to, to shove Clongos back. Just in general play, uh, it's been hard to see. Big throw now for Hoppenden. They get to O'Connor. Down it comes. They set up the mall. The drive comes in initially, but now Clongos have opened up, and the drive is coming from Jarrett. Penalty coming for delivery. Cap collapsing. On goes the reach. Huge reach comes in. And the hooker happening. And just as it looked, he was held up short of the line. They knew that penalty was coming for collapsing it. They decided to go on the open side. The defense stood firm initially, but watch for the reach at the end. A spread happening. Gets himself into that position at the back of that ball. Doesn't panic. Shows patience. Good power here. Steps away. And that reach is brilliant to get away from Killian Fitzpatrick. Well, he's a Leinster under-18 representative, and he has been really impressive in the, in, in the first 30 minutes, but that's a key moment. That's when you need your big players to step up, and he took responsibility to score. Um, what a finish. And from nowhere, you'd say, where Klongos look to be in complete control of this match, Gerrard's now right back in it. Work with the conversion. Strikes this one. Looks to have gone to the left, though. What a half for Ruby Reggie, 41 points already. Um, and, and I just think the resilience and, and, of, and bravery of Jarrods because they are overpowered, but they keep coming back for more. Yeah, well, they're backing themselves. They're not lying down. They realise they're up against it in Clongos. But they just keep coming back. And like we said, 41 points inside the first 35 minutes of rugby. Phenomenal stuff from both these schools. On they go. Aiden Long now for Jarrods. It's there for Fitzpatrick. He puts it outside to O'Connor. He makes huge ground as well. Hard to stop the big second row. Burke brings it to the line. Testing all the time. Josh Watson just spills that one forward. It's taken on now by Peter Marr. Lots of forwards lined out here for Klongos. Good step coming in from Luke McMahon. Release now, we're off ball. Release off ball. Release is the call from the referee. Don't want to give away any silly penalties now. Riley had to reach for that one. For a moment, he looked exposed. There was an injury here to young Saul Fitzpatrick. Seemed to just go over on his ankle as he came forward to make that tackle. Yeah, so they have they have promoted Fitzpatrick into the front line. We saw him the previous phase flying out of the out line as, as a shooter and forced forced um, Congos back inside. But here we see him starting in the line. He makes a tackle. I think it's a clash in the heads, Reggie. Just to seem to come come to contact with uh, Max Merm's head yeah. as they made a tackle. Yeah, it did seem to be a bit of that, all right. Yeah, so they're just assessing that now to I see. Touch judge oh, just coming in and talking to referee Killian Hogan. I'm not sure if it's an offside penalty coming or not. 
No, I think in fairness to Hogan, I think he saw that it might have been a head injury and he, he stopped the game straight, straight away for player safety. I think Hogan's had a brilliant first half, you know, and most of that is because we haven't had to mention him very often. He's let the game flow and we've had a brilliant game of attacking rugby from, from both teams. There is a bleed there, so you can take it if you want, okay? Medic's just assessing the situation. A little bit of blood there. Okay. Hang on a second, guys. Can I both captains? On so oh, Fitzpatrick. Okay. The ref wants a word with both captains. Let's stop for his safety. If I was still knock on, we'll be going back over there. It's supposed to be starting there, okay? To stop for safety was the message from the referee. They'll go back for the original knock-on, not no. the second one that was there where the action took place with Saul Fitzpatrick. So referee Killian Hogan just explaining that to both captains. So there's a blood sub on. Jersey, have you made a sub, have you? Yeah. yeah. For Saul Fitzpatrick. Stadium clock is accurate. Both teams, stadium clock is accurate. So Clongos with the attacking opportunity from this scrum. They've lined up. Very strong on the right hand side of this scrum. Entire back line lined up on the right hand side. With the left winger Sean Sexton standing there in the hover and off the go to Devitt. Chris Grimes with the big charge. Hauled to the ground eventually. Evan O'Boyle now brings it forward. Recycled well. Jared's will need to get out of there. Devitt puts it outside to Dowling. On goes the captain. Very difficult man to stop. Devitt puts it outside to Riley. Trying to bring in the backs. Good footwork there coming in from Spillane. We've seen him already and how dangerous he can be. Devitt to the open side. To the try scorer, Dermot McCormick. Devitt to Riley. He's got Dowling on his outside. Takes three to bring him down. Devitt out to O'Boyle. Jared's defence narrow now. Lovely dummy coming in from Dermot McCormick. Just tackled by Whelan. They go open. Good move from Grimes. The scramble tackle just managed to hold on to him. And the referee, loud blast from the referee, gives the penalty to Jared. Oh, that's huge for Jared's last play in the first half. It seems that the wind is with Longos. And if they get this ball off the field, they're going in seven points down, having really, I suppose faced a, a storm yes well Jarrett's no doubt will be the happier of both of these teams going in at half time Clongos storming into a lead from early doors with tries from Spillane and McCormick but Jarrett's never gave up came back into it and at half time it's Clongos 24 Jarrett's 17 over that line what a game we've had so far, Bernard. Yeah, that's brilliant. And two contrasting styles, Reggie. I mean, Clongos are very direct, very power-based. And, you know, Jared's are trying to find those spaces on the edges a little bit more. But fairness, when they need to roll up their sleeve and, and, and grind it out from close in, we saw the, the quality and power of Glass and, and Happen and, you know, for those two tries. But definitely, Jared seemed to have the win now in the second half. And we're absolutely delighted to have gone in only seven points down. So, Paddy Burke... No major changes on either side that I can Jersey see no as ball. yet. Ollie Newsom on as a permanent fixture on the wing for that blood injury. Burke goes long. It's taken by McCormick. He barges forward again. Devitt now sets up Callum Dowling on his outside. The Clongos back row have been tireless today. In everything that they've done. Huge carry count for the back row. And there's another one of them now from Dowling. Out it goes from Devitt to Riley, trying to bring in the back line. Finds Grimes on the outside, who flicks it out to Marr. Still he goes forward. It's presented now for Devitt. Flicked up. Mixing it up nicely, Klongos. Changing direction, keeping it close, going wide when it's needed. Peter Marr now places it out. Devitt again using the big carriers. Luke McMahon on that occasion. 
Oh, it's a brilliant pickup through the middle by Captain Callum Dowling. Surprised even his own scrum half, Devitt. McMahon, good hands from him out to Dooley, his fellow front row. Devitt now with a little show and go. Through the middle goes McMahon. He'll need support. The clear out's good. No, it's not, says the referee. Straight in the side was the call. Well, the initial clear out was good, but six, who was Evan O'Boyle, came straight in at the side. Yeah, that was big relief for Jared. Again, Clongers were starting to get momentum. Broke down the blind side, the right hand side of Mar, and then his four pack started to to get over the gay line. And particularly again, it, it's it's Callum Dowling. He's been so impressive. He's he's everywhere in defence. He's chop tackling. He's jackling the ball and his carries. But we just see here they kind of lose their shape a little bit. Have a, a pick and go from, from nine, and just there, well spotted by the referee. Clongo's blind side forward. Evan O'Boyle just came in the side. Yeah, he's been spot on today, referee Killian Hogan. All week, the standard of refereeing has been very impressive. Yeah, it's been phenomenal to send really good referees down to this level because they know the speed of the game and, and I suppose the importance of it is so high and, and it's great to see referees get experience of refereeing in right. front of big Down crowds like this. And the supporters now trying to lift their teams. The Bongos probably feel that if they can get a push early in this second half that they could take command of the game but they probably felt when they went into the lead at 24 points to five earlier on they looked like they were in position to take control as well and it wasn't to be Jared's refusing to light out kick comes now from Josh Watson, it's a good kick. Brings play to just shy of the halfway line with Jurds to throw this one in. Fred happening now to throw this one. He's had a solid game so far on the hooker for Jurds. Shorten the line, O'Connor goes towards the front. It's well contested though by Killian Fitzpatrick of Clongos. Gets a hand to it, knocks it back on his side. Devitt now brings in his captain Callum Dowling once again. I've lost count of the amount of carries he's had, but clear hands coming in there by Aiden Long. Have to be on your feet to try and get in there and steal that one. Perfect positioning from the referee to see it. Yeah, good call by, by referee Killian Hogan again. In fairness, you can understand what's going on going through the captain. Aiden Long's mind said he wants to get that ball back. It had been their line out. They didn't get clean possession and trying to get it back as quickly as possible before they allowed Clongos to start to pound off, off the forward carriers. Owen Cumbers now with the throw for Clongos as they set things up here. Callum Dowling lining up out in the centre alongside Chris Grimes. Evan O'Boyle also there standing on the outside of that 10 channel. So off the top it comes, we'll look to hit one of those big men. It's O'Boyle who takes a step on the inside. Been held up, tackles called though. They'll have to leave it now, it's there for Devon. Dowling is still standing out there and he's the target man. Tackled well on this occasion though by Whelan. That one just going behind Maher on this occasion. Devitt puts it out. Cumbers is standing there waiting for it. They go to McMahon instead. Oshin Devitt now to Riley. In comes the interception from Burke. It was on all the way. Passes it brilliantly to Kenny. Great Kenny all the way. And he touches it down. Paddy Burke with the perfect timing on the interception and had the sense to wait and the patience and the calmness to purple perfectly to Craig Kenny on his left hand shoulder watch it again here yeah there's been a few that he, he, he's been very close to getting but that time he times it perfectly we spoke about a this defence but I love is the pass he knew he probably didn't have the pace to get there with the cover but he, he gets it to Kenny who is lightning quick and we just see him here up in the passing channel it's a very risky defence but it works on this occasion and 
That's a great try. And now we see what Clongos are made of. And once again against the run of play. Fantastic try coming in. Burke now with the opportunity. Strikes it well. Strikes it straight between the posts. Fantastic kick coming in to level the sides. If we watch it here again. It's the timing of that step forward and then the step away from what Watson in defence, from Grimes in defence, steps away, creates a space on the outside for Kenny. And the perfect start to the second half for Jarrett's to tie the game. Burke now launches one down towards Riley. He allows it to bounce, it's risky. Fullback Moran comes in, takes control. Gets away from the first tackle. He's ushered towards that sideline by the replacement, Callum Desmond. Big drive coming in from Evan O'Boyle. There's numbers on this left side. Should they go? They go open instead. Devitt now hits it out towards Dooley. Still, Bongos have numbers on the left-hand side. Riley puts it out towards the number eight, Dermot McCormick. Jack Carney takes it another step forward. There's huge numbers on the left. Jared struggling with defence out on this side. Callum Dowling moves it forward. It's placed now for Devon. Jareds have organised their defence. Riley gets it, steps back inside. Tries to evade the tackle of Pickering, but he's not able. In comes the counter rook. Up through the middle goes Chris Grimes. Great pick up on the run from his feet. Devitt now puts it back outside towards Luke McMahon. No. Just scrambling a little bit at the moment, trying to get their shape back. Dermot McCormick juggling that one, which allows the defence to come forward and pin him down. Callum Dowling drops the shoulder into Fred Happening, but this time he stopped. Devitt out towards McMahon. Ball is there. Contest good, not this time. Devon to Riley in behind to Grimes. He offloaded it well, but it just went forward from That's Grimes to Sexton. That's a massive defensive step from Jared. And that, I don't know whether Columbus are tiring or Jared's just getting more belief, but that's the first time over the course of five or six phases that Columbus haven't knocked the Jared's guy back. They've really stepped up. Then it was space on the left hand side. Uh, early into that build, uh, passage of play but Clongos are going back to tight they're trying to just bully them off nine and at the moment Jared seemed to have found a, a way of actually stopping momentum and that's a huge boost to them well, we did mention about the size and physicality of these Clongos players you'd wonder as well though as the game goes on will they tire yeah possibly and it's a big test for them now that they thought they had the game probably won had all the momentum but Jared have just dug in dug in dug in and now brought it back level Stop pushing the ball into their players. Okay. Marcus von Teichmann for St. Gerrard's is coming on. Just need to clear the space after attacking that more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really okay. feel the belief yeah. as the Gerrard supporters start to get behind their team. Lee starting to build here. They have the scrum and they have the opportunity to go from here. As we see Marcus Van Teichman packing down on that wing forward position there. Important scrum for St. Gerard's. So 
good scrum necessary here for St. George. Clondos now looking to apply the pressure. The nudge comes on. It's there at the base. Hold the push is the call from the ref. Out it goes from Fitzpatrick to Burke. Looks for the crossfield kick. It's ambitious. He finds Kenny. Kenny now puts it in over the top, but that one just skewing off the inside of his boot. And it was a great idea. There was space in behind Moran there if he could have kept that kick in field. Yeah, really, uh, really creative and brave for, for Patrick Burke. An inch perfect kick across across to Kenny and if he had been able to keep this in field it would have really changed the, the picture of the Clongos defence but unfortunately he seems to be a right footer and unfortunately the win took it and, and Clongos survived yeah, Kenny there was two players on his inside and if he could have just kept that ball in play on the right hand side you feel the chasing players may have gotten to it to Clongos throw and now things starting to go straight for Clongos they managed to get that one back Tim Harry O'Neill taking that one forward. On goes Devitt now, trying to get some width. That's a good play by Peter Marr from Congos, trying to find that outside channel. Devitt now puts it out to Dermot McCormick. Tackles coming in furiously from Jerds. Devitt now. Oh, he was hit through the middle. Rob Fledwich just getting a little bit overexcited. And this is certainly a kickable opportunity. Yeah, we, we just see here the playoff nine again. Again, the tackle is brilliant from Long. Ball to the back of the brook and he just a bit of over exuberance. But, uh, you know, we've been speaking about Dowling and how impressive he is. But Connor Pickering, he hasn't had the big moments in attack, but his defence has been absolutely superb. The Jared's open side. Running repairs going on now. Okay. Peter Marr is taking a knock on that one, but Oshin Devitt, and this is real indication of how close this game is. Congo's immediately deciding to go for the penalty. And Oshin McDevitt, we know he has the range. Kicked well in the first half. But an opportunity to push Klongos back into the lead. He strikes it, strikes it well. Has it gone left, though? It has. Just forcing it, and one, you feel one or two things just starting to go the way of St. Jared's at the moment, and not the way of Klongos. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is game on here, and, you know, Klongos are probably hot favourites going into this, but Jared's have shown that they're a real quality side, really good skill set. Um, yep. and really brave which is the most important thing and they will need to be because there's still a long way to go and this game is is going to go down to the dying moments I think and we've seen this all week at this stage of the games players starting to go down a little bit with cramp I don't know if it's the 4G surface or just the speed that the games have been played at yeah, I, I think certainly it, at this time every game it I seems to affect you, but I don't think that the whole apprehension and nerves and build up drains them and then the games are being played at a ferocious speed the, the yeah. refereeing is quality the, the exuberance and, and ambition is is top class and it just seems to take a little bit out of them and there's no doubt as well Bernard playing on this 4G surface the speed of the game is 10-15% yeah. quicker than it is on grass absolutely, no doubt about absolutely. it absolutely it's uh, it's perfect for you know the spectacle we want to see which is you know really fast high tempo running rugby been treated to a feast of rugby all week here on Premier Sport four quarter finals in all sorts of weather conditions but the skill levels for every game have been phenomenal lots of tries in this game but in this half just the one coming from that brilliant piece of anticipation from Paddy Burke as he timed his run perfectly to intercept that pass kept his composure stepped to the left and brought Craig Kenny in from the left wing to finish that one off beautifully and push the belief in St. Gerard's that they can go on and win this game
certainly try and get O'Reilly back on his feet. Just a fourth year, young player, but bundles of talent. And a big lad for fourth year as well. Yeah, and apparently he's one of the strongest players in the, in the team. And, um, you know, he's, he's got a huge future ahead of him. He's looked really lively today. Good restart from Burke. It's taken well by Peter Marr. They go to ground now. On go Clongos. Barry Dooley, great work from the Clongos team as well. They haven't stopped. Here we go, Dermot. McCormick flicks it outside to Jack Carney. Devitt puts it out to the loose head. Beautiful hands from McMahon to find O'Boyle on his outside. Devitt now goes open. Dowling pushes it outside towards Wilkinson. He brings in Spillane. Fullback Rory Moran now stays in play, presents the ball. It's there for them. Devitt pushes it out towards Luke McMahon. On go the forwards. Tirelessly carrying all day. Dermot McCormick had to reach for that one. Still managed to bring it in though. Devitt goes outside to his second row, Jack Kearney. Neck drive comes in now. As Fred Hoppen and tries to drag him to the ground. Devitt looks and he space. No. Pops it back outside to McMahon. In the call comes from the forwards. The pick and drives are on now. Close to the line. Jarrett will have to defend. It worked in the first half for them. Harry O'Neill pops it outside towards McCormick. Defence stands firm for the moment. Owen Cumbers now, the try scorer of the first half. He tries to find a way. McMahon picks and drive. He's put to ground. Just two metres short now for Clongos. There's a full back line lined up on the right hand side, but they don't want it. They put it to McCormick again. Calls are coming in. Desperate defence now from Jarrett as McCormick kicks and goes around that corner. On it goes. Has they reached it? It's there. This time, the back row. Evan O'Boyle. Comes in around that corner. And just so difficult for Jared to defend that. Yeah, I think Clongo's used that break and play with injury to, to Callan O'Reilly to really regroup. They had looked rattled before that, but that was a very impressive phase of play. They just used their forward carriers. A couple of tip-on passes to get them over the game line, but once again, five or six yards out, even though there's a big overlap on the right-hand side, the pack were not letting the ball into the backs, and they got, the, got over the line for a key score. And it was Harry O'Neill, in fact... Thank you. We've got that, not O'Boyle. The substitution coming on and making an impact straight away. Big blow for Jarrods. But it was clever from Clongos. They knew that pick and drive had worked in the first half. We went back to it here as Devitt looks to add the two points. Strikes it well, strikes it between the posts. And that's just what his team needed. A little bit of settler. Yeah, and I think tactically, Reggie, that's that's going to be key for Black, for Clongos. They've got themselves into an absolute dogfight here. They need to go to their strength, and they definitely have the upper hand in those close-in exchanges. Kajaris have the upper hand in terms of overall, I suppose, playing ability and, and getting the ball wide, but that's, that's Clongos' strength. Will that go 10? No. Bounce went 10, then into touch. It bounced. It bounced over the 10 and then went into touch. So it'll be a Clongos ball. It only has to travel over the 10. Owen Cumbers now with this line out as Jared's tried to get some bodies in the air to compete. It's a great throw though. He finds Evan O'Boyle. Clongos bringing it back into the tight. Looking to bring the game back a little bit towards the forward pack and use their strength. Devitt now with McMahon lined up outside him. Quite happy to just take that one. Bring it to ground. Try and find a little bit of space. Great break coming through from Peter Murr. Almost gets away from the cover defence. Huge numbers down this left-hand side for Clongos. 
But the pass was a little bit ahead of McCormick and he had to reach for a beautiful ball back inside from Wilkinson, the vice captain. Devitt puts it out towards Dermot McCormick. Slowly running down the clock. The try scorer O'Neill comes into the line. Mad for action. Fresh from the bench to bring his team back into it. Good hands from the captain. Back outside. Now Peter Marr steps in and keeps going forward. Devitt has the second row Carney outside him. Jared struggling now. On goes McMahon. Huge game he's had today. There's space on the outside if they wish to go there. On goes the captain again. Beautiful pass from Downing back inside to a boil. And the try is scored. Captain leading as he has since throughout the whole of this match. By example, beautiful line from him around the corner. Straightening it up. Drawing in the defenders and offloading at the perfect time. Yeah, we've been praising Downing and McCormick. 7-8 and eight for Clongos, and they have been exceptional. But Boyle has been really impressive as well, and he's the one who gets the final touchdown here. We see Downing, breaks the first tackle. He's nearly on the post, a great offload, and this takes a lot of finishing as well. The street, Jared's players on him. So the back row for Clongos have been exceptional, but also we have to mention Peter Maher, the 13. He's been so busy and so effective every time he's had the ball. Devitt strikes it well, straight between the posts. Beautiful kicking style from the scrum half. Solid and reliable. And Klongos, having suffered a little bit of a shaky period in the middle of this game, probably 10 minutes before half time and 10 minutes afterwards, have really got themselves back into control again. Yeah, since Sher's leveled with, with that uh, Craig Kenny try, it's been really impressive from, from Klongos. They've got two, two quick scores, two converted tries, and have got a little bit of daylight again between the two teams. As you mentioned, Peter Marr from Klongos. He's had a huge game today. The forwards have been essential to everything the Klongos have done well. But Marr in the centre has also worked on that outside channel to uh, link in with the forwards and create that space. Yeah, he's a big, tall, rangy player, but he seems to be really strong contact, great leg drive, and he's causing all kinds of problems for the St. George's defence. Jeremy McCormick now just losing his feet as he came into contact there. Devitt looking to go back on that outside space on the outside here. There's that man we just mentioned, Marr, passing it back outside towards Sean Sexton. But I think it was just dropped by Sexton as he came through on it. Yeah, but there's a lovely, lovely bit of skill there from Sexton. The ball kind of went behind him, but he heel flicked it back. Um, we hope we get another look at that. Uh, fortunate for him, it uh, went forward with a nice bit of individual skill. We we'll see it here. So Mark goes down the blind side. He gets it on the outside to his wing section. Just there, he just just chips it back to himself. And in fairness, it is a knock on. But I don't uh, think he knew much about no. it. To be fair. <laughs> I give him a benefit. It of wasn't there. quite Zebo. Jared's now with the put in. So. Trying to find a way back into this match. Got to strike quickly. As we approach the 55th minute, they go. No doubt about it, Klongos know they've been in. One hell of a battle today so far. Still 15 minutes to go. Can't afford to take their eye off the prize of victory here today and a shot at the semi-final Jared's as we've seen refusing to lie down great belief in themselves and an ability to go from anywhere so we set the scrum again it's solid long waits at the base of that scrum it's there for Fitzpatrick he puts it out to Burke they look to go wide that pass is loose can they pick it up it's picked up all right but by Chris Grimes from Klongos quickly onto that one and the numbers down the left Jers look to be offside a boy again involved presents it there is there a penalty coming 
Devitt can't get his hands near the ball. Humbers waits out here. He runs onto a beautiful offload from the hooker to Jack Carney, who's in open space. Slips at the last moment, but the ball is still there. Devitt now looks to go open. Hands brilliantly passed out by Wilkinson to McCormick, who does the compliment and passes it back to Wilkinson. And it's finished in the corner. And that will put the game, you feel, out of the reach of St. Gerrard's. Great play that in is, the open by Clongos. That is the phenomenal phenomenal try. We see the, the tip-on pass from, from Cumbers to his big second row, Carney. He just takes him on the outside. Ball in two hands. Unfortunately, he slips before contact. But it's a class bit of play. Look at this pass from, from Clongos scrum half. Out to, the, out to the big number eight. He sees there's no winger on the outside, but he goes back in and links back outside again to, to Wilkinson. That's probably the try of the game for me. The support play from David Wilkinson by his captain giving that pass and getting himself. And you hear, you often hear top coaches talking to younger players and saying to them, make the pass and get back involved. You know, don't just think you've done your job. Perfect example there from Wilkinson of giving that pass and then creating space on the outside for himself yeah, and looking he, for the link. Absolutely, Reggie. Both these teams are incredibly well drilled. Uh, just unfortunately, I think the power and size of Clongos is starting to pay now in, in the second half and, and punishing St. George. Big strike again from Devitt. Has he reached it? Yes, he has! Right from the touchline. He's been faultless all day long with every kick that he's had. Beautiful play from the young nine. And that is a fantastic kick. Look at the flight of the ball, end over end, just enough distance, and it drops over the post. And now, Jared's being encouraged by their supporters not to give up. We get him off. It was Oscar Hayes. Ten. Reston and Ken O'Grady now on. coming on. Up, up, up. Out they go again. Callum Dowling. Where is he getting the energy from? And Luke McMahon, another one. They've carried non stop all day. Penalty goes the way of Clongos. Yeah, and it's, it's probably easy to see how it's happening to, to Jers. They've had a period in the last 15 minutes where they haven't really had any ball, Reggie, and they're just trying to get a bit of ball and they're over committing to the breakdown and being a little bit. Um, over anxious, but unfortunately for them, they're breaking the laws and, and, and Killian Hogan's not missed any of it. Good kick there from Devitt again. This is good out of the hand as he is off the ground. Brings play over the halfway line for Clongos. No encumbers, another man who'll be very satisfied with his performance today. Looks to throw this one. Cormac is the target man, they reach him. It's taken well. Now they look to drive this one forward. The setup is good. Off goes Cumbers. Finds a little bit of space down that blind side. Devon is gone. Down the right hand side. Great break from the scrum half. Tackler out. Just couldn't find his way to get the pass outside to Spillan. Super break though from the scrum half. On they go again with Harry O'Neill. Look to go wide. Crossfield kick. Kenny's chasing this one Sexton oh look at that take from Marr still on his feet Sexton now has he made it wow try is given unbelievable finish by Sean Sexton it looked like he had to be bundled into touch cover came across from St. Gerrard's he didn't panic backed himself Dive for that line, we'll see it again here, again, great offload, off the deck from Marr, watch here, his feet forces himself back in, uh, it's touching goal, but it was given at the time. Obviously no TMOs 
needs the most here. So it's very hard for referees and touches. They have to make a decision on the spot. But I think in terms of you know effort, Sexton that was a class finish. He saw the spaces on the outside. He was screaming to the to the ten. Charlie Riley to kick cross field, but unfortunately the bounce didn't really jump up in time for him. And then it was a great play by Maher to take the contact offload from the ground. And Sexton going backwards had a turn and still managed to get in the corner. Yeah, Maher's offload off the ground was incredible. We've, we've singled him out already for his skill levels, but you've got to give huge credit to Sexton as well for that finish. And Devitt Reggie, he, he's the one who made the breakdown yep. the blind side. He's not just a goal kicker, he's a tread around the base, brace of the rook. No, he's a class player. Another huge strike. Where is this one going? Just short. Well, forgive him for that one. A very difficult kick. You see it here again. Just watch this skill here as he hits the ground bar. Just flicking that ball up. And Sexton backs himself, steps. Cover comes across. But he yeah. just dives early enough. And like you say... Time is off on-field decision is try and you have to reward that type of, of attacking play takes a little bit of a gloss off the scoreboard for Jarrods but they can be very proud of the way they brought themselves back into this game but as you said just the power of Congo's proving too much in the last 10 minutes yeah they're starting to fall off tackles now starting to get very narrow um, around the around the edges and, and Plongos have found a way to get to that width Hugh Wilkinson on for Plongos now number 21 as McCormick takes that one and makes another metre presents it to Devitt oh, it'll drop there Harry O'Neill thinking again maybe of a, a big surging run up through the middle just took his eye off the ball and Klongo's emptying the bench now Rory O'Regan and so Harry McGowie coming on yeah it's a great a great opportunity for the Klongo's coaches to, to give the bench you know some experience here they're going to be going to a semi-final and you know they can look after some of the key players Hooker coming off there he was outstanding I felt uh, Owen Cumbers was a great battle between himself and Fred Happenen but uh, you know Congos have the luxury now. The game is the game is pretty much won, won and they can take a, take avoid any risks. Lushin Devitt, the other star of today, being given a rest as well. Free kick now. Aiden Long goes quickly. I don't know where they back ten, but they answers the referee. Not ten. Okay. Well, Paddy Burke looks to go through the middle. Ball's gone forward a bit, but they'll get another opportunity. So will they go for the corner here and try and set up? A mall off the lineup. Yeah, I think they should. The last time they went to the corner, they had a nice shift drive, which led to the try for for happening. And um, it'd be great to see Jared's get a couple of scores late in the game. They deserve it. They've been absolutely brilliant. The last. Hugh Hogan now. Sixteen. Coming in. Yeah, I appreciate your news. Give Barry Dooley a rest after his day in the front row. Very impressed with the entire front row for Klongos today. Yeah, they've been excellent. They've really, you know, worked incredibly hard. The set piece has been no, solid, and any carries they've had to make or tackles they've had to make, they haven't been found wanting. More of the dreaded cramp creeping in here. And I know they'll be bitterly disappointed with the scoreboard, but, you know... They, they, you have to give huge credit to Jared's for the way that they didn't give up at the early stages of the match when many teams would have and fought their way right back into this battle and really scared Klongos and forced the best out of them. 100% Reggie, when you're playing team sport you want to you be part of a team that are skillful but also united and, and brave and, and they were all those, I mean they just got, they come up against a team who are very strong physically and in rugby at the moment you know it's difficult to beat that but you know, Jared's can have no regrets if they've left a really good account of themselves. Chance here now. Set. Burke looks to put this one in. Stay on nine, stay. Hold Josh on. Watson is standing in that 10 channel. Long puts it out to Burke. Back inside from Watson. Good ball to Kenny. Back to Watson. Great interplay from Jared's. Burke now around the corner. Brings back in Craig Kenny. Oh, he just drops that ball. Went backwards from the Klongos man afterwards. Klongos have it. Hands out, Klongos, hands out. 
both sides counter rooking each other and Klongo's come away with it Colin Dowling now looks to burrow his way out from there pass comes back and Klongo's taking no chances putting that one out of play opportunity here now for St. Gerard's though with a line out just outside the 22 yeah we, you know we're seeing you know the, the flexibility of some of the Gerrard's players the, the 10 Burke has now gone to number 9 he, he looks he looks really comfortable as a footballer and, and the strike play they played there again with the offloading really highly skilled team Fred Happening now gets the call from Callum Desmond Long walks in O'Connor is the target man you reach and take from him it's popped to Burke who stepped in to that 10 position huge hit coming in from Oscar Hayes resting he looks like a back row number 7 roll away <laughs> and he hits like a back row big pop from Burke on goes Long again for the 10 not sure Burke though puts it back outside towards Ralph Ledwich Burke who stepped in for 10 oh the intercept comes now they need support on goes Grimes he's hauled down good covering tackle coming back from Kenny now they'll go wide good hands out towards Morin he looked to flick it outside as he does to Luke McMahon steps back inside for a bit of support out it goes from Wilkinson good pass on there to Rory O'Regan brilliant flick from the replacement prop to Dermot McCormick they go wide again and Jack Kearney gets a reward for all of the work he's done all day long and against the run of play that breakout intercept from Klongos means that Jarrett's find themselves back underneath their own posts again yeah, we see the replacements getting in on the act. Rui Origo with a big carry. Great work on the ground from Dermot McCormick. And then they go to Witt. Just get the ball out to Carney. We saw him make a great run earlier and there. He has a man outside, but he knows he has athleticism to, to score. But I feel sorry for Jared. They're trying to play. And, you know, they're throwing caution to the wind, trying to express themselves. And they throw a wild pass. And it's picked off. Picked off for the intercept. It's been an incredible game this afternoon, Reggie. But just, you know, high scoring, um, 79 points already, and there's still a couple of minutes left. And you know, Jared seemed to be out in their feet a little bit physically. So, if Long has got any good possession, you, you could see them getting another score. You want to go? Pick off again. Chris Grimes takes that one. Out we go again. Sorry, 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 sorry. Eddie Carr now getting involved. All of the Klongos players relishing their opportunity. All is available. Harry McGoey brings in Rory Moran. To Harry McGoey again. Tireless work. It's out there. Dermot McCormick steps in to cover it, that scrum half roll. But penalty goes the way of St. Gerard's. And with just two minutes left on the clock, they'll go to the corner and try and get a line out and work something off this. Compete at the front there by Klongos, batted back. 
again. It was Jeremy McCormick who seems to be holding his knee a little bit after that one, but he's back up on his feet. They won't want to lose him. Huge player. Good line coming in there from Rory O'Regan. On they go. Lovely offload from the replacement, Eddie Carr, to Jeremy McCormick. Out it goes from McGoey. Looking to get width on it now. It's straightened up by Grimes. Passes it out towards Rory Moran. On they go. Jared's now defending for all their might as Harry O'Neill goes forward with this one. Out they go for the width again. McCormick, beautiful offload from him to Carney. Burke again with another intercept. Timed it well. I think it's important to, to mention the bench for Clongwood as well. They've had a big impact. We saw Eddie Carr there, Rory O'Regan, all making a huge impact for Clongwood, helping them win. Killian Hogan brings an end to this classic encounter between Clongos and St. Gerrard's. A 12-try thriller. 24 all at one stage in the match. But Clongos coming out on top, and they're the winners today. At 55 points to 24.